what's up it is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel and if you are thinking I look a bit strange right now it's because I definitely do I have foundation on and brows and that is it so today I thought it'd be fun to do some first impressions I have a ton of face products here with me and this video idea was definitely sparked off of the morphe palette I recently got this is the 35m boss mood palette and this palette looks gorgeous so this is what the inside of the palette looks like obviously you have your name card sheet which I love how they're including those now so these are these shades in the palette if you have not seen this I'm super excited to try these I wanted to play with them but I figured why not get it on camera so you guys can see how they perform as well if you're interested in picking this up so I will leave the price of how much this palette is right up here in the corner in case by the end of this video you are thinking you want this as well and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe i really do appreciate it we are getting so close to 100 subscribers and it is awesome because it hasn't even been that long so we are definitely growing so i'm super excited so let's keep that on going and yes yeah, so if you guys are interested to see what products i test out and if they work well if they don't and if you are excited to see this morphe palette then just keep on watching the first product I want to test out is this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And I know this concealer is pretty old, but I haven't tried it yet, so I figured I would. I got it in the shade CW01, if that means anything to you guys. I already have foundation on, so that's why I'm going straight in with the concealer. And I am going to apply this on the high points of my face like I normally would with any concealer. And obviously I got this in shades lighter than my skin tone i'm gonna blend this out with my trusty morphe sponge i love this thing so much it seems to be blending out pretty nicely hopefully it doesn't dry too quick i did use a foundation that i trust because i didn't want to do a new foundation and a new concealer together because I find that when I do a foundation I trust or a concealer I trust, I always know which product separates, moves, slips, slides, anything if I'm testing out a new base product for my face. So that is why I went with a foundation I know would not budge if I put a concealer on top of it. This concealer seems to be working pretty well but it doesn't have the most coverage. You can kind of see some of my dark circles a little bit still right here. Um, it definitely brightened up the area, so I don't want like full coverage, but you know, if you guys do, this may not be the concealer for you. I'm also gonna go back in and use it to conceal my eyelids to prime for the eyeshadow we're gonna apply later on. Again, blending that out with my Morphe sponge. If you guys have tested any of these products that I'm testing today, leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. And if you disagree, tell me why. Because if products in this video don't work for me, it doesn't mean they're necessarily not going to work for you. Maybe my skin type is different than yours or they're gonna react different with the skin texture. So you never know. So just let you guys know, this concealer has started to crease a little bit and I normally don't crease right away with concealers. It normally will take about 10 to 15 minutes, but I've only had this on for three minutes now. So just let you guys know, you really wanna set this right after you apply it. Next product for the face is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I am so excited to try this. I've wanted to try this for quite some time now because Nikki Tutorials uses this all the time and she swears by it. So I picked it up in the shade 15 Light and I really hope this works for me. It makes Nikki's skin look beautiful and flawless and I want that too. So. This does have 0.7 ounces of powder in here, which is a decent amount. I haven't even opened this up yet. It still has a seal on it. I'm just gonna flip it over and dump some into the cap. A lot came out. Okay, it's very 
finely milled, which is nice. You can kind of see it there. I'm gonna pat out any creases because you definitely don't want to lock in any creasing. You can definitely tell a difference between the powder. I just applied the powder on this eye. This eye looks super smooth and it did add some extra coverage in there. I did really push the product into my skin. That is what I prefer to do with powder because I really like everything to be locked in place and I find this is the best way to do it. So this powder really does a good job at smoothing. I'm also gonna take this on my lids as well, just to set for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this Morphe powder brush. The number has worn off, and I'm just gonna put this powder all on the rest of my face. The color is pretty good for my skin. I'm gonna step away from the face a little bit and jump right into the eyes because I am too excited to try that palette. So I am gonna take the same powder we just applied and I'm gonna bake that underneath my eyes because I don't know if there's gonna be fallout with this palette and I'd rather not take a chance of ruining my base. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. It's called Play It Cool. I do have the little sheet up here so I know what the names are. And I'm just gonna use that as a nice transition. I don't wanna do anything too crazy but I wanna do something still fun so it's not boring to watch. I may do a half cut crease. This shade seems to be blending out really nicely. So I'm looking at the palette and I think I wanna take Color Persona, which is this beautiful like metallic cranberry shade and make that the focus point of the look. So I think I'm gonna to stick to these cranberries over here. I'm gonna go in with Candy Crush, which is this matte light cranberry shade. And I'm gonna take that on the same Morphe M441. Oh, this is also the brush I use to apply Play It Cool. So I'm gonna go in with Candy Crush right on top of Play It Cool, but I'm not gonna bring it up as high. These two shades are meshing really well together and I am having no problem whatsoever, which is kind of what I expected with Morphe. So I just finished blending out Candy Crush and it blended out beautifully. I'm gonna take a more smaller concentrated blending brush. This is the Morphe M518. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Sweet Beats, which is right here. It's a shade or two darker than Candy Crush. So I'm gonna take this shade and place it right on top of Candy Crush, just keeping it a little bit lower. This shade is definitely going more in the socket of the crease and once there is less and less product on the brush, then you're gonna to want to start blending upwards. By the way, there has been no fallout, which is kind of insane because these shades aren't the lightest, obviously. So I was expecting a little fallout, but I'm looking at my face and there is absolutely no fallout. I'm just taking a little bit more of Candy Crush and blending right on top of Sweet Beats. On a more tapered crease brush, this is the M513. I'm gonna pick up the same shade Sweet Beats and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner and start to blend that with the crease. And then we're gonna add a darker shade on top to create some depth. So I just changed my mind. I actually don't wanna do a cut crease. I'm actually gonna take Sweet Beats and apply that all over my lid. And then we're gonna add some depth and put that shimmer on and it will come together in the end. Right 
Right now, this all looks like it's just one shade, but I promise you it's not. Just stick with me. I'm gonna pick up the shade, what is this? FOTD. So I'm just gonna take that in the Morphe M4 for three, and I'm gonna keep this on the very outer corner and very inner corner of my lid. There is still no fallout on my face, which is crazy. So I'm gonna take that color persona shade right here. I am taking my Morphe M124 brush. This is just a flat shader. I am gonna spray it with my Morphe setting spray. This will just get maximum pigmentation. With this shade, I am starting to get some fallout. So I totally thought I was recording, but <laughs> I wasn't so I didn't get that far which is good I'm gonna walk you through what I did so I took this really light shade up here which is called life of the party and I just applied that under my brows and on the ball of my eye right here just so it can have a little bit more of a pop and I did brush away the powder and follow under my eyes and that brushed away just fine so what I was doing is I am just taking powder on my Morphe sponge and I'm just creating a new line to fix and sharpen that outer corner. The top of the eyeshadow is now complete so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and falsies and I will be right back. The lashes are now on and these were also a first impression. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes which they are gorgeous and they are so comfortable and just fluttery i don't even like they just complete this look now that the lashes are on i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lower lash line while the lashes dry i'm gonna take my morphe e17 brush and take the shade candy crush and run that all along my lower lash line Now going in with the Morphe M443, I'm gonna pick up the shade Sweet Bits and just run that a little bit closer to my lash line. We're just gonna be doing the same steps to our lower lash line as we did in the crease. I'm applying the same shades on my lower lash line as I did in the crease. To finish off the lower lash line, I'm taking my Flat Definer M432 brush and I'm gonna pick up the shade Power Slayer, which is this deep purple tone. And I'm gonna use that to define my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take Power Slayer, which is this deep purple right here. And I'm gonna use that to define my lower lash line. Then take the shade FOTD to blend that line out. I just brought this shade a little bit past halfway point. Now I'm gonna take this itty bitty pencil brush, which is the Morphe E36, and take FOTD to blend out Power Slayer. Just put Life of the Party on my inner corner here. It is blinding. I did spray my Morphe setting spray on top of it, but this is a gorgeous inner corner highlight. Do you see that? Now for the face. So this is pretty funny, but I have this Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm, but it is a little teeny tiny version. And look at the size they give you. It's kind of ridiculous, but I got in an Ipsy glam bag like five months ago and I still have yet to try it. So I figured, oh, why not try it today? So I'm gonna take my Luxie 514 blush brush that I use for bronzer all the time, and I'm just gonna go crazy in this little thing just to get as much product on here as I can. It seems to be applying pretty smoothly, which I'm happy about. The bronzer is actually not bad. I definitely wish I had a bigger size, 
but for what I had and what I got, I think it looks pretty good. Now for blush. I have this BH Cosmetics Professional Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. It looks like this, and I've had this for a while now, and I think I've used like one shade from it. This is what the inside looks like. I'm pretty sure I used like this shade before, but I don't remember how it performed, if it was pigmented, if it blended out nicely. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this mauve shade right here. Using my Morphe angled brush, again, the number rubbed off on this brush, but it is from the Elite Collection. So it's pretty pigmented actually. And I don't like blushes that are extremely pigmented right off the bat because then if you apply too much, it's really hard to take it off. So I'd rather have a buildable blush than a extremely pigmented blush, if you know what I mean. The shade does go really well with the eye look, so I am happy with the choice. Now for the part I am so excited for, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Everyone says that this stuff is amazing and bomb. The only thing I have done is swatched this, and let's just take a minute and appreciate that swatch oh my god it is gorgeous so i'm really excited to put this on my cheeks i hope it looks as pretty on the cheeks as it does on my hand i'm using obviously my favorite highlighting brush hands down which is the morphe m510 whoa can you see that that is a lot of highlighters so it definitely comes up on the brush i am gonna spray my brush a little bit Okay, this is beautiful. One of my new favorite highlighters, definitely. Oh my God, do you see that? This was like $8. Now I am back, my hair and my outfit is all fixed up. So for my final thoughts, I really do love all of these products. There wasn't a product where I was like straight up no, but there was a product that I was kind of iffy about. I'm kind of iffy on this Bahama Mama like bronzer. I'm gonna give it another go because it wasn't awful. And I feel like it's just because the size I got is just so tiny. So I feel like if I got a bigger size, I'd give it a better chance. So I think I'm gonna go buy one of those and I'll use it a little bit. And then I will come back and tell you guys how I like it in later videos. I'll update you. So the eyeshadow palette is amazing. I definitely recommend that 100%. Of course, anything from Morphe I would probably recommend because I love the brand. So the eyeshadows blended beautifully. They're very pigmented, vibrant. And I didn't get any fallout until I started using that metallic shade which is completely fine because it brushed right away. It didn't leave any streaks or mess. The highlighter is perfection. It is amazing. I'm so shocked that this highlight came out of a drugstore highlighter. And I definitely recommend that to you guys as well. The highlighter and the eyeshadow palette were definitely my two favorite things. These lashes I also cannot get over. How beautiful they are they're so feminine and they really give you that feline look and they're only $12 so definitely go pick yourself up some of those if you're looking for good lashes so I feel like this video is going to be so long and I'm so sorry but I'm so happy if you guys decided to stick with me until the end so if you guys did like this look and you enjoyed seeing all of my products then I hope you guys will give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions with me. I had a lot of fun going through these products and creating a new makeup look for you guys. So if you guys want a more intricate look using any of the other shades in the palette, just let me know down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!